everyone, my name is Margarita. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing today for Unplugged Book Box. It is our adult June box here. Um, so of course with Unplugged Book Box, they do both adult and YA fiction boxes and they include some bookish um, items inside the box. Um, I believe there are other options um, if you don't want to get the book, I believe there's a bookish goodies only. I can't remember. I'll double check that and put it in the details below. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I did purchase these boxes with my own money, so I am not sponsored. All the thoughts about the items, of course, are all my own. Um, this is my lovely daughter here, Angelica, and then down here in the pile of squigglies because I've been doing unboxings <laughs> is my my silly cat Gizmo um, who just cannot bear to be parted without us um, being near him of course <laughs> so he's gonna be down here guarding all the squiggles um, but here is the sneak peek at the adult June unplugged book box so we're gonna go ahead and get started the theme for this month, um, for the adult box is Disconnect. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that there. That is the spoiler card. So the first thing that I see here, and I believe this was the fan item for red, white, and blue. Royal blue, red, white, and royal blue. Um, so it is a fantastic cloth tote, which I have gathered a huge amount of totes here lately, but I do like taking them to the bookstore. I'll take um, it. <laughs> so here is the adorable print, and it looks like that was um, something that was in the Battle of the Fandoms, and so this is the fandom that won, and the art is by Azura Arts. Um, and of course, they always do a great job on all of their stuff. It says history, huh? Which I'm a huge history buff. If you don't know, like this whole section and then the bookshelf behind me is all history, and historical fiction, nonfiction, biographies. I'm obsessed with history. So definitely something that we are going to cherish here if you didn't notice she's probably gonna box me for this just kidding um it's, but i wouldn't be surprised if it disappears it's the union chat <laughs> it's it's italia you don't understand that reference, but um all right so the next see. thing we have is abilene's buttermilk buttermilk biscuits from the help um, so definitely something that we are going to love. This is by Deer Meadow Homestead. Um, I do love the help. I actually have it here as well. Um, we were actually just talking about this, um, cause I was telling my daughter that there was a meme for the year 2020 and it said, if the year 2020 was a pie, it would be the pie and the help. <laughs> So definitely love the help here and we are going to love these biscuits. I don't think we've had a biscuits and gravy dinner in a while, so. No, you can't do us like that, Mom. I have sweet tea <laughs> I just made. And if this has anything to do with the help like you just said, then it has to go with my southern sweet tea. Thank you. Oh, End okay. Story. <laughs> and then we have a cute little sticker. It's a Veronica Mars. I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to go ahead and get close. Um, so that, of course, is a cute little sticker. My son will probably put it in his sticker collection. collection. <laughs> and then the next thing we have is a pair of sunglasses, which... They look like your old ones, but you needed a new pair anyways. <laughs> I did need a new pair, yes. And it says bibliophile. I don't know if you can see that there. Oh and my our goodness. And has some plastic. <laughs> he loves plastic. All right. So here are the sunglasses. I don't know. Are they me? They are hers. She she's gonna say that anyways because every <laughs> time she goes and buys a new pair, even as it's at the gas station because she lost them at the beach, like she has six times. <laughs> 
I am notorious for losing weight and glasses. They're the same yes. brown color in either the tortoise or what is it, calico prints? Yes, yes, yes. And it looks like there's a cute little Star Wars sleeve for my glasses. It's so cute. And it's got like a little cinch. Oh my goodness. I cannot. I love this. Ah, I'm so cute. Look at this. <laughs> Uh, okay. Star Wars Anyways. is her favorite thing to make us. I don't. Ooh, it's tangled dry shampoo. I've never tried and dry shampoo. It's taped closed, but I kind of want to smell it. This is by Crunchy Goods and Unplugged Book Box. Um, ooh, it says it has. Let's see here. Arrowroot powder, cocoa powder, hibiscus powder. So apply to hair with a dry shampoo or makeup brush. See, you could tell I'm Gen Z because the only thought that came into my mind was, can I eat it? Ooh, that smells good. Yeah, I'm going to still say I'm Gen Z. Anything's edible. <laughs> it is I'm not edible. Do not eat my dry shampoo. I'm not going to eat it. I can't vouch for the rest of the house. Okay, now this, she is totally going to steal from me, but I'm going to have to tell her no. It is <gasps> a good. Hamilton soap. Perfect for Pride Month. It's double get mom. Look at how pretty it is. I'm going to like, la 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 la. Do, 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 do. Okay, but you have to say John Lawrence three times in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> So she is a huge Hamilton fan. Stop. They don't need to see. I have six books down there. Uh, I have to be <laughs> the United States, the American Experience, which is all about the revolution. And I have the fan edition Ooh. of the Barnes and Nobles uh, Hamilton book. I also have just about every book they referenced in Hamilton. She's obsessed. She sings it all day. This is by <laughs> Natural Pure Honest and Unplugged Book Box. And it smells absolutely delicious smell that um, right there oh. if there's no plastic there Ooh, it smells so good oh i don't know if i want to keep it for bookstagram pictures or actually use it though like no, this is gorgeous she won't let me light the candles she gets in these boxes she can't use this because that's just an unfair advantage <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and get the rest of the stuff out here. Looks like we're down to box and book. So uh, we have, of course, signed book plate. And then it looks like the sneak peek for July, which is trust. Ooh. And it looks like they are going to have maybe a sign. I was and then this is a letter from the owner of Unplugged, um, which is Melanie. And it does have journal prompts so that we can learn to disconnect to reconnect, which is really great. Right now, I'm going through some things. I'm taking classes for IOP, so that's um, intensive outpatient therapy. I'm going through some stuff. And right now I'm having to focus on my mental health and self-care. And this is definitely something that we've been talking about. These books and boxes um, have great themes and things that I definitely talk about um, in our little group. Um, um, this isn't my therapy or art therapy. <laughs> yes, it um. is. So I love this. Uh, definitely gonna get used. And then, of course, the photo challenge. So now we are down to this wonderfully wrapped, beautiful oh. book. Yes. It reminds me of, like, a uh, wallpaper, like, when we watch, like, the, is it the Victorian shows? Right. Maybe. Yeah. I've never seen it. Anymore. I don't know. We, I love it. We just want, if we're not doing this, we watch documentaries all day. Ooh. I already like it. <laughs> it is paperback. So oh my gosh. To... This is gorgeous. Oh, look at this book. Okay. 
So it's the Obsidian Tower by Melissa Caruso. And it's got like this like grainy feel. I don't know. It's interesting. I kind of like the hand feel. It kind of feels like when you touch like the kitchen mats, like the plastic kitchen mats. Ooh, have. this sounds good. Guard the tower, ward the stone, find your answers, written bone. Keep your trust through wits of war, nothing must unseal the door. Okay, it sounds like a witchcraft. <laughs> Oh, I cannot wait to read this. Holy smokes, this sounds so good. Deep within Gloaming Guard Castle lies a black tower sealed by ancient magic. It guards a dangerous secret that has been contained for thousands of years. As Warden Rysander knows the warning passed down through generations, nothing must unseal the door. But one impetuous decision will leave her with blood on her hands and unleash a threat that could doom the world to fall to darkness. Wow. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. This is going to be like bumped up in my TBR because I totally want to read it. It sounds like I'm going to have to tape it like I used to, So I <laughs> would work in the library during, when I was in <laughs> elementary school and I used to have to tape the paperback books and it makes me sound... So, she's making it sound like I'm going to have to do that to you so it doesn't end up like... Harry Potter, uh, because she reads them so much, the binding falls apart. <sighs> Anyhow, <laughs> yes, I feel like this is going to be an ultimate treasure in my treasure trove of books here. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Um, so I don't know. Everything that came in this box was so good. I have to say my favorite was maybe the Hamilton soap, hands down. Um, but it's a close second to the sunglasses and the, um, the little pouch here. Um, let me go over the vendors just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. But just to say, like, anything that I don't have as a favorite maybe is the sticker because I don't watch Veronica Mars. I, I hear it's a good show, though, so. I don't even get the reference. So. But um, as far as vendors go, the Hamilton Bar Soap, again, that was natural, pure, honest. The Bibliophile Sunglasses, um, I believe that was an unplugged exclusive. Uh, the Star Wars sunglasses pouch, that was also an unplugged exclusive by Lacey J. Boutique. Um, so it's an Etsy shop. Uh, the Veronica Mars sticker, that was also from an Etsy shop. It looks like uh, Rustic Caro Designs. Oh, Rustic Aero Designs, I apologize. Um, and then the red white and royal blue tote um that was by of course azura arts uh the help buttermilk biscuits that was deer meadow homestead and the tangled dry shampoo crunchy mama goods i will put all the links in the detailed box below um so you can definitely check it out it looks like there may even be some codes to get some discounts on some great goods um so again thank you for tuning in to my unplugged adult june book box unboxing um and if you want take a gander at my channel subscribe hit the notification box below and then i think there's going to be a video somewhere over here if you want to check out some other ones thanks again and you have a great day